been great right now. They didn't, I don't think they were great first half of the season last year either. But City have this way of continuing to get results. And then down the stretch, there is simply nobody better in English football right now. So you, you cannot afford them to get any kind of a head start. Right. Because even when you get a head start, you can't take that for granted. So with City with a head start, the, the race could be all over come, come Christmas. This is, a, this I, 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 is a scenario we all sat and talked about. Yeah, we, it, before I, a ball was I, I, even kicked. Yeah. I want to move on from Havertz a little bit. When I asked um, Craig whether... Uh, Arsenal got away with one, and 1-1 one -one could have been a fair representation of the game. You pulled a face. I did pull a face. Why? Well, because Manchester United deserved, in my opinion, exactly what they got. Man United didn't go there to win the game. Man United went there to do what mid-table Premier League sides do against the so-called big boys, is sit tight and try and break. They were hair away, going... weren't they, from going 2-1 up? But that's got nothing to do with the way they played, though. That's to do with the fact that Arsenal couldn't break them down. And you've got to give United credit that, that for most of the game they defended well. Were Arsenal, the superior, were, defend... were Arsenal the superior team? Arsenal were a better side than... Man, what did, I... Dan, please, please explain to me what Manchester United are about. I have no idea what Manchester United are trying sure. to do other than defend and then try and break. And if it's not Rashford, it's nobody else. But, but... There's nothing else going on. Well, in I fairness, think... so they've we... got a back... They have got... A, they, have got they are hamstrung... Are, are, they're, it's not a great squad, I don't think it's a great no. squad. But they are hamstrung with some, some bad injuries, particularly at the back. I mean, mm. you, I mean, Shaw's a good player, Varane's a World Cup winner, but I'm sorry, you know, once again, you know, we have a wide player in Anthony. <sighs> I don't know what to say. It took them... And Anthony but... Martial, quite... I was listening to the commentary, I think it's eight years they were saying he's been there yeah. now. What a humongous waste of talent. Um, the only thing is Hoyland's, Hoyland came on and, look, and, and look, look, looked lively, lively, lively coming on. And that maybe changes things for Manchester United. But, but I, I totally agree in that this is not a good Manchester United team. Um, Martial just, just gives you nothing really to, to believe in. But at, at, at the same time, when they put up the full screen on the stats, and, and I saw, you see 55% possession in Arsenal to 45, to me it felt like a whole lot more. It felt like Arsenal dominated the game a whole lot more. Yet, I, I, Onana made the one save from Saka. Mm -hmm. Martin, straight, at uh, straight at him. Martinelli whizzed one by a post. And I, I don't think Arsenal tested yeah. him otherwise. So for all Arsenal's dominance, supposed dominance that we've seen here, for as much as they were the better team, Onana had, a, Onana had a day that could quite easily been just the one goal and, and, and no saves to talk about. That, that, that flashy Arsenal, that exciting Arsenal to watch that we saw a lot last season, Nadam, we really haven't seen at all this campaign. No, I would say not as yet, to be honest. But then also they, they've done what they did last year in terms of going out once the clock fit hits 90, they continue to find a way to get a result. I think scoring the two goals today is very much a testament to that. I think they showed the video of like maybe 10 fans leaving the stadium. They're the naive ones that forgot about what happened last year on multiple occasions. And they do keep going. I think Arteta mentioned the fact that his team have a real desire and will to win. And it's good when you can bring on someone like Gabriel Jesus off the bench in this instance coming back from injury. You know, they'll find a way. The crowd there, they get them really going. Obviously, last week against Fulham was disappointing for them. But it wasn't that exciting from Arsenal. I thought, in fairness, Dalo and Wan-Bissaka did pretty well against Saka and Martinelli. And as Shaka was saying... Anana's not had a ton of saves to make, which is very rare, I imagine, for most goalkeepers this season going to the Emirates. So, fair play to United for being defensively solid. But I think, as Stevie was saying, it was that next stage. You saw the Rashford break in one or two opportunities. But it kind of feels like they came there for a draw. And I'm sure they were thinking that when they thought it was 2-1, they were going to get away with the win as well. I mean, for 26 minutes. And, and, and I'm not saying that Arsenal were fantastic. Mm -hmm. But they never got in Arsenal's half for no. 26 minutes no. till they scored. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, it was like, actually, we, well, we can do better here. And then they started the second half the same. And, and as, as I said, you can look at these two teams and you know exactly what Arsenal try to do. Right. You've got Martinelli down the left, you've got, you've got Saka on the right, you've got Odegaard hanging back for the goal he scored and they try to get Havertz in the penalty box. Let's go to Man United. What are they trying to do other than give the ball to Marcus Rashford? Somebody tell me, because I don't see anything else. Uh, they've been poor in every game, haven't they? Yeah. Aye. yeah but, they've uh, been no, really sorry, they had, they had a pretty good half an hour at Tottenham mm. in the first half. Yeah. Decent. Yeah. Should have got a couple Wolves goals. Wolves, they were outplayed. Wolves, Wolves, they were terrible. Yeah. Forest, they were, they were not great. And, and by the way, they got a lucky penalty. I think most of us think that with the Rashford one. Yeah. And, and today, I mean, I wasn't surprised. Uh, you know, not been 
Um, thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe. Manchester United, Manchester United. So this was one game that was interesting in terms of the tactics of the game, what United were looking to actually achieve in the game, what they wanted to prove, what they wanted to show to the world that they're capable of doing. There were so many chances that they were, it was tempting, but the interesting thing that people actually discovered was this. The mentality of Manchester United going into the game, like what Steve Nicole was saying, was never to win the game it was to try to get as much as they can the point or whatever they can or maybe hit them on a counter what they were doing is that still sitting back sitting back trying to hit the long balls to marcus rashford that's why we saw less of football activities from manchester united stands of view or point of view when they were playing they were trying to play passes in the defenses so that they can hit those long balls to the up front that that can work when you're playing with some teams that are not really good when it comes there but if this is going to be Manchester United's tactics all along until we go to the end of this season, then let's just kiss goodbye to whatever the ambitions are for this season. Winning a trophy or even trying to finish in the top four. Because now the teams are coming back, that were low are coming back, they're now playing good football. You need to be able to control the game, able to under understand how the movement and how the movement of the game is going and how to actually I implement your skills or whatever your tactics that you've prepared because if your tactics is to pass to one player we talked about this and you you they sacked the cristiano ronaldo but they're still doing the same thing with marcus rashford and if marcus rashford does not turn for the game does not produce for the game then they're losing and that is terrible every manchester united fan has to accept this that eric tenag in terms of his tactics he is really flown a good manager always may manage to find the best way to play the game what they wanted to do was to control the ball that's why they were wasting so much time i even talked about it on my preview check it is there on the connect i talked about how much onana and the defense alexandro martinez and Lindelof were trying to irritate the Arsenal so that they can be off their game then hit them on the counter and hitting them on the counter they're not kicking on the Anthony side because that side doesn't work they were kicking on the Rashford side as when they kick on the Rashford side nothing really materialized so what we are dealing with here when it comes to Manchester United is a team that doesn't have the tactics, that doesn't have the backbone because we don't really know what they want to do. We don't really know what they want to achieve. We don't really know what they are expecting this season to be for them. And that is dangerous. That is dangerous, especially in this season we are in. In a season where you have shown that you can make this team play, you expect us to do, we expect you to do better, and you don't do as a manager, Eric Tenag, the whole world will be behind your back. They'll be asking you to perform, they'll be asking you to produce something. It's not going to be so easy for you. But this is also the interesting thing that maybe I have to add, which maybe people have not talked about. You'll be sad, because you are just... Let me say an updated version or 2.0 Ole Gunnar Social. You're playing Ole Gunnar Social football of expecting to produce moments of brilliance from individuals and tribal women to play around and kick it up front and hope for a miracle. That is what Ole Gunnar Social did. That's what made him, you know, the most loved United fan sub manager for some time, but it backfired. It's going to backfire on you as well. That's the fact of the matter. Do you agree with me, Manchester United fans, or you want to strangle me? Let me know in the comment section. I'm out. Please click the like button and subscribe to the connect. Peace.